Hello everyone. Today we're going to learn about using one octave major scales or really any scale to learn your fretboard better and to be able to arpeggiate between chords. So today we're just going to use the C major scale in first position and I'm going to show you how to play that scale kind of in a more intelligent way so that you learn your fretboard and you're able to use that scale to arpeggiate chords and eventually solo with that. Um, one of the biggest mistakes that you can make playing guitar is is taking your scales and just kind of take it and going through it without thinking about it and letting your mind shut off because your mind is what plays your guitar because of course it's controlling your hand. So let's take a look at the C major scale. All right. So above me you've got the C major scale. Um, C our one, D our two, E is the three, F is the four, G five, A six, B seven, C again is our one. Um, and just about anybody knows how to play through this scale. Um, if you don't, C is going to be the third fret of the A, D is fifth fret of the A, um, and then we're going to E second fret of the D. F, 3rd fret, G, 5th fret, 2nd fret of the G for A, 4th uh, fret of the G for B, and then again 5th uh, fret with our pinky for C. Now how do we take this and actually mine some information out of it? Well, our one chord, of course we're going to take every other note from the first note of the scale. So what we get is C, E, G. So when you're playing this scale after you go through it, da, 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 then you can start arpeggiating. So C, E, G for our one chord, and then D, F, A for our two chord, E, G, B for our three chord, F, A, C for our four chord, G, B down to D for our five chord, and then A, C, E for our six chord, and then B, D, F for our seven chord. So then you can go through all those arpeggiations after you play through the scale one time, and now you know how to arpeggiate every triad in that scale. And after that, then you start doing these things with your minor chords or just any scale pattern that you know up and down the neck. It makes your brain really key into what you're doing so that you really know your fretboard and you're not just kind of doing the dots and the diagrams and, and all of that, which kind of leads to what I feel to be fairly emotionless playing, um, fairly robotic playing. You know, you when you're playing and you're you're really in it you're choosing your notes based off of the words you want to speak and these are not words we use our mouth to speak these are words we use our guitar to speak now if you need any more guidance with music theory one lesson of course i have the one hour animation up on my youtube getting close to four thousand views now which is great um and music theory one lesson the book i always appreciate anybody that that supports me by buying my books I'm working on another one as well as a really cool done for you practice journal and this really cool t-shirt put your heart into it so if you want to check any of that stuff out fretboard the fretboard society.com I'm also building what we can call the lumosity of guitar at music and guitar lessons.com every single purchase um, that you give me on the Fretboard Society, of course, is going to give you a lifetime membership to musicandguitarlessons.com. That's a limited offer because I'm using all of the revenue there to hire a coder to make that site just something phenomenal. Um, all questions, lesson requests, of course, comments down there for YouTube, comments Actually, no, the comments are down there too, for Facebook, too. So just put them in the comments. Um, I hope to hear from you, as always. Happy practice, um, and enjoy the day. Definitely do not forget to subscribe and like this video.